Yeah, I think I think it's a little light um, at the tunnel for, as far as this game is concerned, and you know some of the strides we make it we made from one from first game to now, and I feel good about where we're going. But it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Um, I, I think we could do better. I just, I just personally believe that. Um, I think down the stretch of these tight games, it's, it's less about the X's and O's, and I think you got to know personnel and know who you're defending. Um, I think collectively the help side has to be there. and we, we just have to be intact down the stretch of games when it get tight. And I think um, we were there, but not close enough. I think that we, we, we could have came together a lot closer um, down the stretch of the game and, and got stops. And, you know, that's that's a team thing. You know, there's no individual. I think it's a team thing. I just think um, if there's room for improvement and we're young, but – Enough is enough as far as like, you know, come, when it come down to it, I think for us it's about now is the time to like do what we're supposed to do and, and we fell short and that's not enough. Matt, go ahead. Um, I don't know, just energy, you know. I, I try and give the energy every day, every game and every practice. And she does. And yeah, just I had a I had a focus pre-game, so and I I went out to set to set I went out to do it and I did it. Got Dion back there. Uh, I think for us, uh, we, we've we've made strides from team to team, game to game. I think when you guys first hours played New York, and compared to the second time, it was better. Um, same with Connecticut, but better is not enough, and, and we're not gonna settle for mediocrity, and we're not gonna settle for it just been enough and us just being young. No, we we come here to win. We gonna we gonna we play to win, and that's the goal. But as far as me as far as me personally, I feel good. Um, I feel good about where my body's headed, um, about the recovery after games, um, from game to game, and so I feel good like. Being able to transition from game to game without, you know, feeling any, any soreness or anything like that. So I'm excited about my recovery. And now for me, it's just about finding those spots on the floor and, and getting comfortable with my team. Yeah. Kind of going off that schedule, you guys haven't really had a, an off day yet, and you don't really have one until Sunday. You're heading on the road uh, uh, soon. You got another game in a couple of days. How hard is that to kind of get the chemistry going? What will you do heading into this road trip to kind of maintain that and improve upon it? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult, obviously. We don't have the time to have a bunch of practices and get, you know, that flow or whatever. So we are doing that in the games, you know, effectively. Um, so it's difficult, but we, we got to get it done somehow, right? So day by day, we just try and focus on the details, the little things. Um, and each day is like up an opportunity for us to get better. And so we really have to like seize each day. Like you said the other day, like stop wasting time. And that's really what we have to do. Stop wasting time. We don't have time. Now is the time. Um, yes. For either of you, there was one moment near the end of the game where Aaliyah got the block, Clark got that transition, logo three. Just what was the energy within the team like? Obviously, the fans were kind of going wild at that point. Uh, we love the energy. We love our fans. We, um, we love that, you know, we have a player that can, you know, take those shots and is capable. And um, when, when momentum is going – and that shift is coming for us. Those are those are good moments to have. And I think at the time it was it was it, it was good to hear the you know the, the crowd scream for us. And because we've been through a lot, we've been trying to like embrace this role and how all of our roles are different. And I think for us about those different moments kind of help us bring, come together, especially when the games get tight. So it was a moment. It was a really good moment for us. Got Tony the Matt. Timmy, what do you think has allowed you to gel with this team so quickly? It's only been four games, but you know already tonight fit again like you have. Um. Uh, everyone's welcomed me quite well. The, the returners have welcomed me very well. We got some new people as well, so we're all just trying to figure it out, you know. Um, we all we all have a goal, like at the end of the day, right? And the main thing is for us to leave our ego at the door, and we we're, we're doing a good job of that collectively. So when you do that, it's going to be easy to you know gel and fit in. Matt, go ahead. Yeah, kind of to follow up on that, Timmy, how's it been, you know, kind of 
getting back into the league, obviously new team, new players uh, for everybody, but what's it been kind of like for you since 2019, and what do you think you've excelled at through that? Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's great to be back. I feel, you know, obviously I was a rookie back then, my first three years, taking some time off, played overseas, come back, like, seasoned, you know? Like, I'm more comfortable in my own skin. I know what I bring to the table, and that's what I'm going to focus on here. And so when you have that confidence and self assuredness then it's <laughs> it's just like a it's a great thing to have because you just know yourself and you don't need to prove anything to anyone you just do you just work and do your game uh, the back row. uh kelsey this one is you for you specifically um as the elder statesman like the veteran on the team what do you where do you see the identity of the fever currently Oh, that's a really great question. I think for us, it's, it's something that we're trying to establish. It's, it's, it's funny you say that. I think we're trying to establish who we're going to be. Um, f unfortunately for us, the world has already deemed what they deemed for us and how we're supposed to play and how it's supposed to look. But I, I know for a fact that, you know, we're playing in one of the best leagues in the world. And I think finding an identity is just really, really good thing to have. I think every team that we play against has an identity. And I think even though we have new new people and new faces, we have to establish that. And I hate to say that, but we don't have one to me. And I think that's our next step. I think that our next step is establish who we're going to be. Not just, you know, what the social media says or what the world is saying, but, you know, who we actually can be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Kelsey, Timmy referenced stop wasting time. Was that in reference to, like, games maximizing those opportunities, or was it, like, in practice the little things because you don't have much time? Oh yeah, she. I, I had a rant the other day about us wasting time, and so she, she was referencing that. But yeah, I, I think a lot of times we come to the gym and we fighting teeth and nails and the blood, sweat, tears. We, we deserve to give our some ourselves some grace by by responding, you know. And I think that those lows that we have, to, our, our bad starts to first and third quarters, I think it's a waste of time. And I know that we can be better. So it's just about us holding ourselves accountable to the standard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like not being comfortable, you know, right. like cruising. There ain't no time to cruise in this league. Like, you cruise, you're going to get punched. So that's our next maturation as far as wasting time. I think there's a difference between just coming here and to play the games and, you know, seeing the spectacle and hear the fans and all that crap. But I think at the end of the day, if we're, if we're here and we want to compete with the best in the world, we got to compete every night, start to finish. Tammy, you mentioned your approach to this game specifically. Was that something that came from within for you? Was that a conversation or something? What kind of led to you changing how you approach this one? Um, just like wanting to make more of an impact, you know, like coming off the bench, like that's something I'm not used to. And so I actually hit up um, Alicia Clark because she's like, you know, amazing at that. Six for sure. Of the year. And so she gave me some nice pointers and just like, so I just set my mind straight and, you know, went to work. I don't remember, man. No. <laughs> Before this, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a big shot. It gave us some momentum, got the crowd going. Um, I mean, our crowd was incredible. Our fans were incredible. I think you can see the progress that this team is making, and um, that's why this one hurts a lot because we were right there and we had plenty of opportunities to go win the game, and um, then you don't. And it's just some little things that we do to ourselves. Um, you know, they kill us on you know points off turnovers. They kill us on O board points. Um, just the little things. Um, I think they made a lot more free throws than we did. Can't find that at the moment. They made 24. They shot 30 to our 13. Um, but it is what it is. It's the little things that you can clean up and are in our control. Um, but, yeah, I thought our crowd was great. They they rallied behind us. They gave us some great energy. And, you know, I hope they continue to come back because it's going to be a fun season. we got to remember we played two of the top teams in the league, and we were right there. Um, with the with the sun tonight and really had a few opportunities to ch take the lead and you know give ourselves a chance. Dion, go ahead. Hey, Caitlin, um, congratulations on you know uh, everything you've done so far. Mm -hmm. I think the key for you and the squad is how you and Kelsey are able to kind of mesh a little bit. What's it been like playing with her and the last play? Um, obviously, got a I mean, you got a tech, but I don't know mm -hmm. really what happened. Um, can you talk about that for a second? Yeah, I think uh, Kelsey's been tremendous. It's been fun getting to play with her. I think continuing to get her the ball and 
and I would try to use the two of us, especially in transition, the best we can, like play off of each other. Um, you know, we, we tried to run some action where she was screening for me and trying to get some miscommunication with other team, like who's going to take who, are they going to switch, are they not, are we going to go some action, things like that. Um, and then just the technical foul, probably, you know, can't get that, but, you know, a little frustration of how the game was refed, um, but it is what it is, you know. There's that's out of your control. You can't really handle it. And, you know, I thought our team, you know, put ourselves in position to, to make some plays to try to win down the stretch. And the Sun always came up with big plays, too. Steven, go ahead. Uh, Caitlin, uh, you roll that ankle pretty good mm -hmm. uh, from the replay. Um, mm -hmm. So just how are you feeling, first of all? And then I yeah. guess you have – was that something you kind of came in with, I guess, with the dealing mm -hmm. with something with the ankle, from what we understand? Yeah, I, uh, Honestly, I, I turned it pretty good. I, I think it just got caught. I don't think I stepped on anybody. I'm not sure from the replay, but um, I don't have the best angles in the world. But um, it was a little tight this morning, but nothing really out of the ordinary. So, um, you know, it honestly it felt good. I just wanted to get a lot more tape on it as fast as I could to get back out there and playing. And it's hard, especially when, you know, I felt like I kind of started the game off good and then you hurt, get hurt and you got to sit out the last five minutes of the first half and then got to wait half time. So kind of hard to get kind of into a flow there. So I think it kind of took me till the end of the third quarter to kind of get back into a little bit of a flow. But, um, yeah, I mean, ankle injuries. Every basketball player's had an ankle injury. If not, you're not a true baller, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so it'll it'll be a little stiff, but I'll be good. Chloe, go ahead. Yeah, just this was the most encouraging game for you guys today. Mm -hmm. Just what positives can you take from it? Yeah, I think that's the challenge of like, you know, obviously everybody's disappointed, but you know, it's not going to do us any good to all just hang our heads and pout about why we didn't win. It's just you got to go back and watch the film, and you know, coach said like fast break points off of our turn or off of points off our turnovers, points off of O boards. Um, but at the same time, like we did a lot of really good stuff, especially in the fourth quarter, uh, the momentum that we found. Um, you know, we got to stop fouling at the end of the end of shot clocks. Like they made some tough baskets on us, um, but we were right there. So I think it's like you got to keep your head up, but you also have to get a fire within you that is upset and you know not okay with you know losing four straight to open the year. And I think our group has that, but also there's a, a sense of you know this is helping us get better. And there there's going to be a time in the season where it really shows that the, these four games that we open the season with, and you know it's going to pay off. Matt, um, not necessarily to diminish the other games, but it seemed like tonight you guys had the most balanced attack mm -hmm. across the board in scoring. Mm -hmm. Would you kind of agree with that? And and, mm -hmm. and if so, what led to that? Yeah, I think for sure. I thought we moved the ball a little bit better. I thought we got some more points in transition, um, which was good. Um, I thought our bench was great. The three people that came off the bench, I thought they brought such great energy. They played, you know, played their butt off. Um, you know, I thought they were really good. I thought... Um, I don't know. I, I mean, we just came up with big buckets. And even when the sun went on a run, like, we never hung our head. We never let it get out of reach. We just found a way to continue to um, come back. And, let, you know, the, their biggest lead was only ever nine. It would never got to double digits. Like, we always continued to claw and fight back. And, you know, we got a lead there. Uh, I think it was 76-72 at, at one point. So, you know, we put ourselves in position to be successful. And, you know, we'll continue to learn. We're young. And, you know, we got a, we got a road trip where we have opportunities to, to go and win some games, too. So um, just continue to stack them. And, um, you know, we're going to be in a good position. Go in the back row. Hey, Caitlin. The uh, second half, mm -hmm. you went crazy with dimes. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that? Like, what was your mindset when you were getting people involved? Like Honestly, I think it was just the fourth quarter. I don't think I had an assist until the fourth quarter. And... I don't know. I think that's like when our offense is at our best, when I can like facilitate and get other people involved. It just makes it hard for the other team to have to guard us. Um, you know, I thought people finished the ball well. You know, I think Ida made a shot there. Aaliyah made a few shots. Um, so people came up and made big baskets for us, but I was, I was trying to find them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we can even have more than 20 assists, but 20 assists is, is honestly really good. It's just the turnover number that needs to come down for us. Tony. Kaylin, in your monthish as over here, in your monthish as teammates, what stood out to you about Temi and what she mm -hmm. brings to your team and how you guys kind of fit together? Temi's leadership is really good. Like she's just somebody that's so vocal and she comes in and gives 110% every single minute that she's on the floor. But also, you know, she runs the floor as good as anybody. Um, you saw there in the fourth quarter the way she ran the floor, kind of slipped behind the defense and was able to finish a big basket for us. So, um, you know, Temi's somebody that you never have to question how she's going to show up and work. Uh, she plays great defense. She's long. She's athletic. But I don't know. She's been somebody that's been honestly really motivational for me at coming into this league. She's always had my back and been there to pick me up and, um, you know, help me kind of learn, too. Um, so I'm just I'm just really proud of her. And, you know, 
uh, she did some really good stuff for us, and she can will continue to. Um, you know, I think she well, had a double double tonight at 11 and 10. That's it's pretty good off the bench. <laughs> Adam, go ahead. Caitlin, a lot's been made about not wasting time, and with mm -hmm. game travel practice, I know there isn't much, but the assists mm -hmm. does that help? Kind of gauge where the chemistry is at compared to where it was in camp or in the preseason. Do you think? Yeah, I think 20 assists is pretty good. I think Coach told us yesterday, if you like at 21, that's maybe top three in the league, which is which is pretty good. Uh, I think New York leads the league. So um, being able to share the ball, I think, will come with, you know, understanding where and when to get our teammates the ball in positions that they're going to be successful and um, just having a little bit ke more chemistry with one another and continue to play with one another. So um, I think that's just going to continue to grow and get better. I believe we can be the highest you know, assist team in the league. That's the type of talent we have to score the ball, but also to pass the ball. Um, and that's just going to make us harder to guard. So I think that needs to continue to be a, a focal point. Chris, you're up 76-72, four minutes left. What did you see as the difference there in closing? <clears throat> You know, we just have to find a way to get stops. That's what great teams do. Um, you know, they've been in this situation before. They know exactly um, what players need to have the ball in their hands to make a play. And we've just got to be – we just have to be better in being able to – like, we had gotten a stop, but we gave up that – we knocked the ball out of bounds on that rebound late. Like, that should have been ours. And I think we're up two right there going our – you know, going in our direction. So, just got to find a way to get stops. You talked about the close games before the season. I'm curious if these ones hurt any more for you than you know the first three, just given how close it was. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really I'm really crushed for the players. They they competed, but we still have so much to work on. Like I think they scored like 20 points in the first four and a half minutes of the game. You know, we gave up several um, offensive rebounds early in that quarter. Uh, they went to the free throw line 30 times. You know, we've got to start defending without fouling. That's going to be huge for us. Defend without fouling. Um, when all five have to box out, and we've got to secure the rebound to not give up so many second chance points. Here in the second row on the right. Coach Tim from Indy Sports Daily. Uh, after the first three games, uh, tonight really showed a lot of improvement. What have you guys done differently in the locker room to uh, help boost the team's morale? You know, that's the thing. You've, you've lost three and now four, and now you got to figure out how to keep them um, engaged, still wanting to compete. And that would be most most folks' concern. Not Like, I have a great group in that locker room, and they're battling. They're learning each other. Uh, we're getting better. Um, just some things that we have to clean up. Um, and now, after these last two games, we kind of have a better idea of what that is. We've shown that what we can do when we compete. Um, got to defend without fouling. Box out, get those rebounds, not give up so many second chance points. And then also we've got to find ways not to turn the ball over as well. Scott. What dynamic did Timmy show you in terms of running the floor and getting out and running and playing the way in which you've been stressing for the last 22 days? Yeah, um, we're so lucky to have Timmy here. You know, she left Minnesota and she didn't think she was going to come back. She saw what was happening here, wanted to come back, wanted to be a part of this. She's been everything for us in the locker room, her veteran leadership. Um, you know, we, we talked to our players about with these teams, the New Yorks, the Connecticut's, the Vegas's. We want to match their level. Timmy stopped us tonight in the locker room and she said, no, we are the level. We make that level. We, we create that. We're not matching anybody. That is what she brings to our team. And that is huge for us with this young group. Chloe. Yeah, just when Caitlin went down with that ankle in the second quarter, were you worried at all? It was going to be something bigger than what it was? or? Yeah, I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> A lot worried. You know, she is tough. She takes hits. I mean, you've seen the, the videos of her taking these hits on these screens, and then I'm not sure if she stepped on somebody's foot or came down. I'm, I haven't seen it, but when she didn't get up, I know it's serious, but she's tough. She's tough. She didn't want anybody to help her off the court. I love that about her. I love that's what she's about. She walked it off herself, did what she needed to do to come back in the game. Chrissy, how early in camp did you notice that Temi fits kind of your style of, you know, running up and down the floor, defense, rebounding, all that kind of stuff? She's like a deer, man. I mean, she is, 
She can get out and run in transition defense and offense. She can go get rebounds, and if she doesn't get them, she's, she can get down the floor really quick. I mean, she brings a, a different dynamic. Um, I think it was her first double-double. If I'm, I mean, that's huge. I mean, what she did for us, like she's just a huge dynamic for us. Scott, it wasn't successful, but the play design and execution, was that exactly what you wanted in terms of setting up Aaliyah late? Yeah, I thought they were going to really try to take Kelsey and Caitlin away. Right there, Aaliyah just made that same layup. And I just thought, let's just go right back to her. She'll get a layup or a foul, and we'll tie it up. It was a good look. She'll hit it next time. Go Steve and then Zion here. Christy had uh, Caitlin hit the, the, the big the logo three, and then I think Aaliyah on the next possession maybe scored as well. Um, you had the momentum there, you the crowd. What's the key to just kind of seizing those moments like that? Because you only get a few of them against teams like that. You know? Yeah. You know, it's a fine line with the way we play because you want to play fast. And that opens up a lot of opportunities for Caitlin to get shots like that. I know I think Edub was in the game at the time. She was able to push. Kelsey's able to push. You just have to, you know, capitalize on those moments and keep the momentum going. And, that, you know, when you give up um, second chance points, that kind of just brings it back down. So we've got to find a way to get those stops, get those rebounds, and continue that momentum. Sorry, go ahead. Coach, going back to Timmy, just what gave you the faith in her and the way she was playing tonight that you left her out there and, and had her close the game in the fourth? Yeah. I mean, she defensively, she's just – she can get to different spots really quickly. She can guard seven different players. She can guard – she can get switched onto a guard and break down and guard them. She can guard AT. Um, she, she's just so versatile out there, and that's just huge for us in those moments.